These mini seafoods are much happier now. Welcome back, neighbors. So the question is, how much do mini seafoods actually eat, right? Well, we're gonna go off of just hay alone, not grain, because for the past few weeks, I did not give them any grain to find out exactly how much hay they eat. So we have this guy right here, that's Rocky. Say hi to the camera, Rocky. As you can see, Rocky's still kind of warming up to me. I've been slowly trying to make some ground with him, swinging by, trying to ease into it. He's at least got to a point where, as you see now, I'm inside the corral with him. He hasn't charged at me, so that's a good thing. Um, I've, got, I've been able to give him little saltine crackers. He's doing good eating those. So he's finally warming up to me. But I think we still have a long ways until I can actually get real close to him and, and touch him. All right. But slowly, slowly, I, I'm sure we'll get there. Okay. So we got Rocky right here. And then we got, we got Mama Cow over there. I'll show you a little calf in a few minutes. And then we have, I'm going to say a heifer, even though I'm sure she was a, she's already a cow. But on my farm, she hasn't had a baby. So that's why I'm going to call her a heifer right now. She's on the other side right now. I haven't really named her yet, and I haven't named her yet. Um, I actually debated keeping her, but I don't know. Uh, just see what you guys think. Maybe maybe um, once we go through this video and, just, and talk about what the plans are for, for our CG family farm, then we can make the decision whether she stays or goes, all right? So, let's see. So, between Rocky, Mama Cow, and Heifer, they ate one big round bell of hay in three weeks guys three weeks that's not too bad you know given that some of it's right there on the ground so maybe now that they've kind of messed this up a little bit they won't mess that one up too much right that's the idea so through the winter time right now it is november i believe i'm gonna have to be feeding uh hay all of november all of december uh, January, February, and maybe some March until we actually start getting a little bit greener grass and they can actually start eating off of that. I'll slow down on giving them round bells of hay. But until then, we got to keep this this little cow happy. So we got to have to keep those round bells stocked around the farm, all right? So there you go, guys. The answer the, to the big question of how much do mini seeds eat? Well, I don't know how many you guys have, but right now we have three. Between all three of them, it took them three weeks to eat one of those round bales of hay, guys. Now, let's go check out the little calf. All right, so the reason I have my little calf separate from his mama and the rest of the little herd um, is mainly because I want to be able to give him a little bit more attention and because we want to train him, all right? So, yes, here at CG Family Farm, well, what I would like to do in the future is that... I would like to raise mini Cebus and train them to be lead train, right? That's actually a thing, guys. I don't know if some of you uh, subscribers and viewers out there have know about the whole mini Cebu movement, you could say. But yeah, really, there's actually people that like to have mini Cebus as pets, mainly as pets because they stay so small. And since they're pets, they actually put a little harness on them and they put a leash on them and they just walk them around their backyard and it's better than a dog because they actually eat grass so that's a win-win they mow your yard and you have a pet just like a dog and they're actually very friendly except for my little mini calf uh it's still taking him some time to warm up and that's a given because i've only been uh having him him and his mom and everybody on the farm for about two to three months and it takes time guys it takes consistent time and honestly um so much going around the farm that i'll probably get around to walking him like once every i don't know once every three four days and i know that's not enough because we've been having to battle with him over and over to put this on to try to walk him so that's what we're about to do right now guys we're gonna try to go in the corral try to grab him Put them on the leash and walk them around see how it goes all right all right so we put this right here so i can grab it here in a minute and we have a little chico here poor little chico he's sick right now so that's why i separated him from the rest of the goats and then we have some uh roosters over here those are my dad's but he doesn't have the space so i let him to bring them on over here and 
and honestly they're really nice looking roosters so I don't complain I don't mind and then we have the farm pit look at that big old turkey you are getting big man well or woman I'm really not sure if it's a hen or a tom if you guys are familiar with turkeys let me know how I can tell if that's a tom or a hen because it, um, it is already about 20 weeks now and I'm not really sure what it is but it is gonna stay a pet all right Thanksgiving is coming around and we are not gonna butcher him just simply because I did buy 10 turkeys um, off a of hatchery and I raised them up until like then 10 weeks and then I, I'm not sure exactly what happened but we ended up losing uh, nine of those turkeys not all at once but we lost three so then I started giving them medicine and either way I lost another three and then all of a sudden like two weeks later another three went and this little lucky one is the only one left so since he made it through the big pandemic <laughs> or whatever it is that they got um, I'm not gonna butcher him for Thanksgiving right so he's safe he's gonna stay as a farm pet and I actually uh, put on Instagram that if you guys have any suggestions of what we can name him or her then there you go we would like to name him because we want to keep him as, as a farm pet just like little cookie over here right cookie that was my wife's idea to name our bull calf cookie i wanted something a little bit more i don't know mean you know it's, it's a bull calf but no the wife said i want to name him cookie especially because whenever we first got him he was a little bit uh, on the browner, like yeah, light brown side. Um, I'll put up a picture when we first got him. This, this is how he looked when we first got him. And now, if you can see, Mini Cebus actually changed color. That's pretty crazy to me that Mini Cebus changed color with time. Uh, that's why if you ever get you some Mini Cebus, uh, from my understanding, you're not so, you're you're not allowed to fully register them until they are three years old. Because at that point, then you know how tall they're gonna get or big. And then that way you know what color is going to stay with them. And that way they can put all that in writing. So I still don't have him registered. Honestly, none of my cows and my, um, are registered. But my mini Cebu bull actually is. All right. So I'm not really gonna, sure about the process of how I'm going to go about it. Since my bull is registered and the cow isn't. But I'll get more information throughout the year. And if you guys are actually into the mini cebus and join our group on facebook and send me a comment send me a message and see how you can help me out all right so let's grab this mini cebu and start training So we got cookie in our possession. As it usually goes like that. I have to come in here, try to corner him somewhere, and then reach out for his leg. But that's the only way he lets me grab him. I'm hoping that eventually we can actually train him to allow me to grab him whenever I feed him. That's where the goats is that simple. I'll simply throw some grain out on the ground and they'll come up. Once they're eating, I just reach out for their leg and there it is. I can grab a goat. But this little guy, nope, still not having it. All right, let's give him a quick little walk.
Maybe we try it again tomorrow. Huh? What do you think, Cookie? Well, that's how it goes. A little bit at a time. Um, at the end, I gave him a little bit of a treat. See if tomorrow he does a little bit better. But honestly, it's on me. I need to come out here more consistently and at least 15 minutes a day. Put him on the leash. Try to get him to walk. All right. But it does no good to come out here once every three or four days and try to push him around for 30 minutes. You know, it's it does no good for him. It does no good for me that we'll end up getting frustrated with each other. So um, I'll try it again tomorrow, a little bit at a time. Hopefully we can get into eventually walk on a leash, uh, be a little bit more tame to where my kids can come up and, and pet them. And we can actually have them out here on the farm freely like we do our goats, right? That's the idea. There it is, guys. Today was just a quick little video to let you guys know if you are interested in mini cows i have the mini cebus there's also uh mini highland cows those are awesome my wife really wants a mini highland but maybe later because those are really expensive um there's different kinds of breeds out there dexter they're all those are minis as well so there's different kind of mini cows out there uh it depends on what you're actually looking for you know there's also like those dexters i was talking about those are actually mini uh beef cattle you know you can actually use them for beef mini seaboos no they they really don't hold much uh meat on their bones all right so they're, they're not going to be used for that purpose but i'm going to give it a try this year i'm going to try to keep uh what i have right now try to raise them see if we get another one born on the farm and then whenever i do sell one i will see if they at least i at least made enough to cover their feed right because even though i really do like having animals around the farm i'm hoping that they can at least you know carry their own weight and at least have enough to feed themselves right that's the idea the chickens you know I won't, i'll hopefully have eggs from them and i can sell them the goats their offsprings i'll be selling them and that way we can continue having this uh family farm lifestyle but also not go highly into debt while doing so right hopefully they can at least provide for themselves that's the idea so if you guys have any recommendations of how to make a little bit of extra money on the farm please let me know comment down below and join that facebook group that we have a family farm lifestyle that way you can also inspire others or pretty much give them advice of how they also can continue living this life without having to go into debt right so all right guys i hope you enjoyed it it's getting late this afternoon so i'm gonna wrap things up wash up and go eat dinner with my family all right guys till next time have fun <laughs>